Okay, so this is my peer review for uh, Matt Prozer's Project 2 and his website is holisticprogression.weebly.com Now, Matt's project, uh, basically how this works is peer review so whenever on the diploma any of us finish a project um, someone that's also doing the diploma will, will do a peer review basically so me and Matt were paired up for this one Matt, thank you for yours um, and I was I was would have taken forever to basically write one up so I've decided to just record it so the first question peer review is uh, regarding the editing shape and size is the main body direct clear of unnecessary technical clutter um, definitely nice and easy to read is the second question is the project report easy to navigate so on Matt's web page um, there's a link down there uh, Matt's website navigation is really easy at the end of each section there's a hyperlink to the next section uh, is the project report of appropriate size too much too little um, I think it was spot on it didn't take me long to read through it um, it's well laid out there's no jargon there's no padding it's all useful information and there's links to other things which relate to it does the report flow well flows really well um, like I mentioned when you finish one section there's a hyperlink right at the bottom to link to the next section so the flow of the report fantastic next section mix of media genres and styles what do you think about choices regarding media genre and style to enhance and support the meaning and message of this project um, Matt it's got quite a bit of text but it's not like a huge um, essays worth it's a nice chunk explaining things and then um, pictures lots of pictures which is really great um, picture of the mind map fantastic and also a picture of the um, process itself pictures throughout the process and the implementation of the uh, composting toilet this is what basically they were designing and they built so fantastic a um, little video clip if possible bonus I like video personally um, media mix okay management of output packet creation was the project report submitted on time with sufficient time allocated for peer review uh, yeah all of that stuff was there when I was checking I think a few pictures were missing exactly on the deadline but we all uh, agreed because it was the December period uh, like a week's extension for everyone but yeah everything was on time uh, his project review he sent to me on time sorry mine's a little late design skill articulation of approach is it clear what design approaches organization framework and processes were considered for design project so Matt's um, basically done it I don't know what the acronym is but he, he starts with the synopsis with like a goals articulation and then he moves on to um, analysis and I think it is SADEM basically um, he's got analysis and assess and then he's got the design and then implement and evaluate which the evaluate is basically the management side of it um, next question has your peer evidence good use of design skills to influence the quality of the project and their action learning pathway I think Matt's done a fantastic job with um, this part of the project because it's very clear what the process was, um, the goals articulation, the going to um, the other two sites to check out composting toilets, um, seeing what they like from both projects, taking what they wanted, adding their own, um, and it's a and you know it's 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 it was stacked with the. Uh, like workshop so not only were they not only was Matt doing his um, project he was actually getting other people involved to learn and hands-on experience on uh, building a composting toilet using the materials carb um, 
wattle and all and all of that fantastic stuff critical evaluation in thinking any evidence of attempts to validate original thinking and has your peer provided some third party evidence to support your conclusions yes matt refer to uh let me check his name the mac daddy of human newer and he's linked in to his thing so let me just find that i think it's in design so here i'm looking at a sketch of the actual outline of what they want to build and here's another um, sketch on the floor to measure out how many adobe bricks they'll need I'll have to come back to that, but he has linked to the guy, I'll put it in the video at the bottom, um, who's basically, he done like the love blue, which is um, basically a bucket with a wooden frame, toilet seat, and use sawdust, and you can just urinate, go to the loo in there, and add more sawdust, and because the sawdust is, is um, high carbon, it absorbs everything, that's what the human manure book is, um, mainly about or his work is mainly about anyway <clears throat> but he references to this chap inclusion links and references action learning okay concrete experience does the report indicate balance between action and thought and does your peer seem to be able to get to action and act Matt has definitely um, done this he's, he's, he's created um, amongst other people um, a lovely composting toilet at the Panya project I forgot to mention that which is in Thailand and um, they basically built it on site <clears throat> and before that a lot of thought process went into the designing and all the other aspects involved um, the surveying and the analysis that's all included and they have a fully functioning composting loop so it's definitely without a doubt having a go reflections observation appraisal of action outcomes does your peer create the time space for good quality reflection do the learning journal extracts seem useful okay um i, I couldn't really find learning journal extracts as such like you know like a diary type thing or a blog but he is reflecting um, on the whole process. He is reflecting on the end product, so to speak. Um, the thoughts. They also. He also had um, feedback from people at the project. I'm assuming, and he's made changes to the project output, i.e., the, how he's displayed it on the website. So, not only is he self-reflecting, he's he's taking other people's views on board and adapting or amending the website. Uh, the page, the project basically, the project report uh, to reflect that. Active experimentation. Does the report show readiness and uh, inventiveness around designing and operate the, and operating pilots and trials, rapid prototypes? Is your peer having a goal or in need or less planning and more doing? I think he's got a great balance. He's, he's, he's not just jumping headfirst in Matt. That is, Matt's basically, they, 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 they knew what they wanted, they surveyed. They, like I said, they went to visit two <coughs> composting toilets and they took what they, they liked from that. And I really like the fact that they um, integrated the the flu and painting that black so it would act as a, like a rocket stove does. As the flu heats up, it draws out the, the, the bad smells because that's one of the negative comments that Matt realised. Um, a lot of people had about composting toilets so because of his research and then um, surveying and um, analysis they, they implemented that into the design which he's, he states was really beneficial describe the value of this work to the world benefits to the field basically um, well Matt's basically given us a template on how to make a composting toilet from scratch um, which is fantastic you know and it's really easily laid out and they've given us the principles of what's needed and also one way of building the structure 
um, using Adobe and um, uh, a really easy roof instead of doing a thatch roof they just used a parasol which I think is fantastic especially in the tropics it's not, it doesn't get cold so great stuff um, growth of skill flex is professional can you reflect back professional school skills you can see evolving um, this is one that's a bit hard for me uh, I think personally what comes across is Matt's um, abilities to stack functions of doing a project for the diploma or something that the Panya project needs or possibly in his life and then stacking that with a workshop. Now what that allows is obviously it takes more time, more planning but it creates some financial income and it allows him to make the process not so much individual but uh, but for other people to benefit um, not just the end product but the, the making of the of that product. So in this case um, people were part of making the composting toilet you know there was a team <coughs> a team of people doing the adobe um, bricks and then the uh, plastering and then the building of the structure which I think is fantastic and it's the way to go because it allows especially um, where I am in East London if I'm ever doing anything like this then if I can stack um, workshop kind of situation into it it allows others to get involved experience and, and see that it's not impossible or extremely hard it just needs a bit of organizing a bit of research and you can do it yourself so definitely um, I think the stacking functions bit of incorporating projects into workshops uh, definitely evolving internal growth and development any personal insights and gains you can reflect back to your peer. Um, <clears throat> I just think it's fantastic. He's out in, in the Panya project. He's, he's in the tropics. Um, he's from the UK. I think he's with his brother, and they're 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 out there living it basically. They're designing things, making things, um, and then seeing how well they work. And if they if it's in a project format like this, it allows others to to draw from that knowledge. Uh, and take from that contributes to knowledge commons was was there any movement towards disseminating the project learning i.e. workshops, online tutorial are there clear links available to the public peer group um, the whole thing was a workshop that was fantastic, that's, that's the fantastic thing, thing about this project that he's done the whole thing was a workshop where people came in and they, they, they did them um, building I believe um, it was over at least over two weeks and people were doing uh, I think they also built the um, cement water storage tanks as well um, at this time so it's it's absolutely fantastic um, I think that's that's probably one of the biggest things of this project <clears throat> that it was integrated as a workshop and people were you know part of it and they had hands-on experience with building these structures which basically deal with water and what was one of the biggest things that we're going to have to to, to um, use effectively, and the water storage tank, um, allowing um, us to harvest water off our, our catchment surfaces, our roofs, and then a composting toilet which doesn't need water. Whereas it, here we have flushing toilets, and we're flushing, you know, for every flush at least what five liters or. Um, three litres of fine drinking water down every time. So I think um, absolutely fantastic that it was stacked and it's something I will definitely try and incorporate into my projects. And um, I hope um, all of these projects, as many as possible, will have that function in it and um, they're reported just as well. So that's my peer review. I'll put the necessary links in the bottom and I'll try and um, hopefully when you're watching this, you've, I've put in lots of um, screenshots and stuff of his project. Thanks. Patch it out.